My name is Nambong Justine. The boys stand, we stand near me, and my grandpa King, Prince Mark Ombu. The problem will be bring me for the Ark of God Covenant Ministry. Now, this is my grandpa King. They be born with asthma. Yes, our mother says the problem that brought her to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry was her grandson who was suffering from the problem of asthma and that he had been suffering from this problem from birth. If we affect the Pekin, the Pekin not be the, it not be the breed fine. It not be the breed fine. And in the breed, in the make noise, they make terrible noise. When in the breed, open all your mouth. In a sleep, me too, I need sleep. But it should also take morning time. I they go to hospital every week. I they go see pediatrician. Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. Sometimes I they go now for a house. Sometimes I go find a house. They will go find for a hospital. I don't see. I they go for a house. So Mama is saying that this problem had affected the life of her grandson so badly that he could not breathe. Every night he would struggle so hard to breathe. And that his breath was very noisy. Because he was struggling to breathe, he would leave his mouth wide open. And that she had been moving to the hospital at least twice a week. This problem for the bikini affects me plenty. I know if you do anything, I know if you go any place, I know if you do nothing. And I know how that kind of thing will be. When bikini is sleep, my mother know if you sleep. When you see a bikini for that kind of condition. Our mother is saying that because of the health challenge of her grandson, as much as the child could not sleep, she too could not sleep. And she had to be moving from one place, from one hospital to the other in search of solution to this problem. And that this problem had really affected her because she could not do anything. All of her attention, all of her time, her resources, she had to focus them on her grandson. So the last hospital where I go, now the doctor will prescribe me Ventolin spray. Where I did use the spray after six hours, after six hours. I did use two bottles for one week, at times more. More than two. So mother is saying the last hospital she went to, her grandson was pres prescribed a Ventolin spray. And she's saying that she had to use this spray every six hours. She had to spray it into the son's mouth every six hours before the boy could find relief. And that every day she had to spray this spray. And definitely she was using so many sprays in a week. Mama, can you just tell us how this problem has affected your finances? given that you had to be buying this spray very often? It don't affect me because I know if I know I know get no money again. I don't use all money, hospital to hospital, every time buy medicine. No be, and the medicine they be costly. They spray all the time. I know if, you know if people have me finish. They they spray the only column. They only calm down small. After some time it come back. As I use another Six hours before you want to reach six hours, you don't start breathing. the breathing problem, don't come again. So, I want to thank God plenty because if nobody living water, where the man of God be blessed me with them, I know to say the picking for be alive. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, make it louder for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yes, Mama is saying that this problem really affected her finances in that she had spent so much just procuring drugs for her grandson that she had to buy so many of these sprays, tablets, all of which could not offer her a permanent solution. Because when she ministered this spray upon, uh, in the mouth of her son, before even the six hours, he would start having the attacks again and he would start breathing noisily. So the, the spray did not give her any permanent solution and that's when she actually came to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry when she was blessed with the living water. And that because of this living water and the power of God in the living water, the life of her son has been spared from asthma. <laughs> Mama, how did you feel seeing other people's children playing around, feeling free, doing some of the things which your own son, your own bundle of joy could not do? How did you feel? I feel so bad. I will cry every day. I know if you sleep. I will cry every day, every night. I feel bad. So Mama is saying she felt very bad seeing other children running around, playing and doing some of the things which her own son could not do. I believe you use the living water in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. I say, oh God, through this living water, you did heal many people, you did deliver many people, do unto for my grandpa king. And after I be used them, I see God's hand for my picking skin. The problem is stop. 
So I call my sister. I say, sister, see, I'm all. Malcolm, the cough, but no breathing problem again after I use the living water. As her mother is saying, when she came to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry and she was blessed with the living water, she ministered it in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. She asked Jesus Christ that he has been doing it for others. Her case should not be an exception. And she says that she saw the power of God, the hand of God, come upon the life of her grandson. And her son stopped coughing and stopped the noisy breathing. And today he's free from the problem of asthma. So, as I be saying, so, say the beginning, the problem don't stop. I be rushed for hospital. I go back, I go see that pediatrician. I explain that for him. He said, I go do tests. I go do the tests. I come back. I can't give. So, he tells me, say, the problem don't be solved. So, I come back for, can't thank God for the living water where he uses the humble servant for bless me with him. I use them for my grand picking and the problem don't the problem of asthma it don't be solved for one second. I'll be very, very, very happy because God don't heal my picking. So I can't thank God. Can return all the glory back for God. Now it is sleep fine. Me too, I sleep fine. I get peace. Hallelujah. Mama is saying that she is very happy now that God Almighty, through the medium of the living water, has healed her grandson and restored him back to the original position in which he was created to be. Now the young man can sleep soundly and as well the grandmother can as well sleep soundly for the glory of God. Let us hear from the boy. You're welcome to the Ark of God's Covenant Ministry. What is your name? It's Malcolm. Okay. What is the problem that brought you here? So how did this problem affect you? I cannot sleep. Oh. Put your hands together for Jesus. I cannot sleep. I cannot breathe. Oh. So what happened when Mama ministered living water upon you in the name of Jesus? What happened after that? I was healed. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Make it louder for Jesus Christ. Thank God for the healing. Praise the Lord. So can you just tell us, how do you feel now? I feel very happy. Thank you. The first medical report is show say, Prince Malcolm Boo, it will be one year old, before I be, I be going to make the medical report, but it, the medical report is show say, the bunny with asthma. And the second report, it is shows say it don't be totally free from the asthma problem. Hallelujah. M Mama is saying that the first medical report is showing the name of her son Malcolm, who is who was suffering from the problem of asthma from birth. And the second report shows the result after she administered the living water when she went for another check just to discover that her son was declared totally free from the problem of asthma my advice were fitted and i say may they rush for god and may any man he get living water for a house may any man he get this living water for a house because if i not be getting living water if the man of god not be bless me with the living water this is my picking up for be alive today because I don't give all kind medicine. We don't go see all kind doctor. I know if you begin to call places, they want I don't go. Now me, I know where to where I don't pass through. So I want to thank God. Because through this living water, my grandpa can don't be free. Our mother is encouraging people who are in the same situation or in a similar condition that they should run to God. And she's also advising the people of God to get the living water because the living water is a medium which God Almighty used to arrest, to expose, and to free her son from the problem of asthma. So I'm not getting nothing for do with you again. I come now for country. Yeah. You can do better for Jesus Christ. So 
So Mama is saying she no longer has any use for the Ventolin spray she was using. My promise for God na say I go save you all through my life and I will bring my grandpa up in the way for me they begin me they fear God. I will bring them up in the way of the Lord. Mama says she promises to serve God for the rest of her life. And she's asking for God Almighty to give her the grace to bring up her children in the fear of the Lord. Mama, we pray God Almighty will give you the grace to live in his word and to make his word a standard for your life and the life of your family and your children in Jesus' name. Amen. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can watch Apostle John Chi on Act of God TV, on Act of God TV app, or our live TV stream on johnchi.org. You can follow Apostle John Chi on all social media platforms. God bless you.